So the front instep kick is what we're going to cover now. Now when I say the instep, I'm referring to the top of the foot, which is where my shoelaces are. I'm going to assume that for a street situation, if you're on the street, you're going to be wearing shoes. Most shoes do have laces, so I'm going to be using those. So obviously this is an upward angle kick. This most of the time is going to go to the groin. It is a groin kick. So a, in order to use the, the shoelaces, I have to point my toes or extend my foot down like that. So I wouldn't want to be here and kicking with my toes. I would actually want to extend so that again I hit with the shoelaces. Now this seems like a fairly self-explanatory technique but there's one thing that a lot of people forget to do or don't do if they don't have any formal training and that is using your hips. Not only does it give you greater extension but it gives you significantly more power. So notice I'm not in my stance and doing this and not doing like a karate style fold strike and refold and then setting it down. I'm bringing my hips forward with it and my whole body is lending power to this technique. So I'm extending my hips forward wherever they are now. I want them to be more or less over the foot that stays on the ground by the time I'm done with my kick. So I'm here and I extend, hit, set it right back down. So it does cause me to lean back slightly, but it's such a fast kick that shouldn't, shouldn't make any difference. So now just follow along from the back angle. I'm using my back foot because my back foot is going to be significantly more powerful than my front foot. My front foot is closer to him so it doesn't have as much time to generate more speed and therefore more power. So I'm here, I'm going to lean back slightly just because I'm moving my hips forward and I'm really, really putting a lot of power. Again, I'm not just kicking him in the groin, I'm trying to kick him in the head and his groin is just getting in my way. So I'm kicking through, trying to lift him up off the ground because it's so powerful. Boom. So a very simple home practice drill we can use to practice and study this technique just a little bit further, especially as it pertains to the speed and the power and the follow through of the instep kick is by actually striking something obviously that's very, very sturdy. I'm going to use this pad once more and I'm actually going to put my hands in the back handles as to not tear these side handles because it is a very, very powerful technique. So what I'm going to do is hold just like this. So I'm obviously not presenting an adequate striking surface to do a front instep kick. And then as soon as I do put it down, I'm going to get it well away away from myself and I'm going to lean back and then he can go ahead and strike. He knows that it's time to kick as soon as I put it down. Now obviously he's trying to kick with his shin all the way to the instep of his foot. So any of that, we're assuming in a high stress situation, we're not going to be able to kick with the exact square inch of our shoe that we want to, things of that nature. So if he does accidentally kick with his shin, I don't want that foot to come back and hit me. So that's why I'm leaning significantly back and doing that. Also, by pushing this thing down hard and fast, I'm, t I'm training him to step back from his neutral stance into his fighting stance and then pop up off the ground and use his hips and really do a good technique. So we're practicing being fairly preemptive and immediately going to the attack to neutralize the threat and get out of there. So I'm standing here just like this and I'm really quickly going to here steps back and then kicks with whichever foot he wants to as long as it's the back foot. So if you're left footed and you prefer to kick with your left foot, that's great. Just step back with your left foot, pop up off the ground and then deliver a good strong kick. So let's do that a couple more times. We're here and go. Very good. From a different angle, go. Very powerful technique. And go. Very good. Very simple drill.